coffin, tombstone, anti-stink spray? Sir, we prefer the term casket to coffin and monument to tombstone. We have all the leading brands of anti-stink spray. <laughs> what funny names. He's heading into dead man's curve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the living. Well, fortunately, this model features the cadaver cam. That thing got picture in picture? Of course. This is the Contempo. Uh, how come they never call traveling anymore? This is the deluxe area. The caskets are buried in unused virgin graves, the monuments are completely self-cleaning, and there is an optional weeping widow service. Wally, Wally, Wally! Irving! Over here, please. Whoa, whoa. This is getting kind of pricey. Sir, what lies beyond this life is a mystery. But we do know for sure that God prefers people who travel in style. Hear that? If you cheapskate me into hell, I'll haunt you good. Imagine this when you're sitting on the john. Okay. Okay. With mole insurance, your total comes to... $17,000. What? Oh! Or you could just toss him in the woods and let the wolves carry him off. It's really up to you. Mr. Salesman? Yeah. We're gonna go with the wolves. Beat it! <laughs> Dad, I love you this much. But that's just under $900. I wish I could go $17,000, but... Hmm? Hmm? Sir, if I may, think of it as an investment in extravagance. The Mazo Palooza can be seen from space. It will consume as much cement as a regulation-sized tennis court. Tennis court, eh? Oh, I can't believe we went through all that just to wind up with a tennis court. I bet you didn't see that coming. You don't care what happens to me when I die. Of course I do, Dad. Oh. And if it were up to me, you wouldn't die at all. But try telling that to Killy McGee up there. Hey, what on earth are you doing? Practicing tennis. That's tennis? Oh, then what's the one where the chicks wail on each other? Foxy boxing? Yes! That's what I wanted! Oh! <laughs> Finally, make sure the net is tight and springy. <laughs> that seems about right. You know, a tennis court can really make your house look classy. I hear Mel Brooks has one. I mean, Sir Mel Brooks. And it's bad news for the gophers. <laughs> and it's gonna do wonders for our social life. Yeah, it'd be nice to entertain friends and have people over. Hey, you got a tennis court? Keep walking, Flannery.